During the long march of centuries, from fiery volcanic origin to today's tranquil appearance, the British Virgin Islands have had many visitors. The first were peaceful Arawaks from South America's Orinoco Basin. Then came Caribs, who settled so widely, the entire basin bears their name. Columbus finally brought this remote region to the world's attention. Pioneers were followed by Dutch, French, and Spanish explorers, marauding pirates, plantation owners, Quakers, other settlers, and finally, the British. Each society left its mark, and each, from conservative Quaker to expansionist conquistador, also left behind something far more important. Each community, regardless of origin or goals, found these islands extraordinarily picturesque, soothing, and nourishing to the spirit. Their remarkable legacy was to leave virtually no footprint of civilization to mar the beauty of land, sea, and sky. Surviving intact through centuries of man's excess, the islands look now much as they did when the first visitors arrived. Today's visitors say this pristine beauty calls them back again and again. Will the British Virgin Islands cast their spell on you? Take a closer look. hideaways in the world where nature has successfully defied development. The BVI may be the best example. Here nature works its magic on your soul without interruption. The result? You discover nature's little secrets, those enlightening and rare moments when man and environment are in perfect harmony. Fifty miles from Puerto Rico, just three or four hours flight from New York or Miami, and little more than nine hours from Europe, these sixty-odd islands, islets, and keys are a welcome haven from a very unsettled world. People and the life are easygoing and friendly. Islands brim with unspoiled beaches, coves, and bays, spectacular nature trails, intriguing shipwrecks and anchorages. Accommodations and attractions blend into the environment rather than replace it. This is a rare water sports paradise, relatively untouched by civilization. The BVI helps you get closer to the simpler, more noble life we need so much, but find so elusive. From the moment you arrive, you're never far from water. West Indian heritage and the influence of nature are everywhere. This could be your main reason for coming. It casts a spell on many visitors. Some live to race. Some just want to get closer to the water. To get beneath the surface, you need only flippers and mask. Sea down 50 feet. A snorkeler's dream. Or get even closer. You can go from novice to certified diver in a week. The Caribbean's most celebrated wreck, the Royal Mail Steamer Rhone, sunk in a hurricane off Salt Island in 1867. You may have seen it in the film The Deep. world's largest blue marlin was caught here in the BBI waters. B 
EDI professionals are straightforward about the appeal of their waters. We have wonderful weather, wonderful sailing all year long. There are water sports and water sports. This beach fronts the only Caribbean resort named in Condé Nast Traveler Magazine's top 20 resorts. Its natural environment is a major reason. You can also discover the completely deserted beach. A unique coral island in a volcanic chain. Its beaches go on for miles. They call it Anagata. Each island has its own secrets. Your problem? Making a choice. Nature provided this sheer rock cliff and water level caves. Robert Louis Stevenson provided fame. This is the setting for Treasure Island. These rocks look like an Indian brave's headdress. The real secret? The reefs beneath. The two remaining inhabitants of aptly named Salt Island still pan, dry, and pack salt for shipment to Tortola the way their ancestors did. Total contrast is another wonderful secret. Here is an island with no paved roads, two telephones, several quiet beaches, but a dozen very contemporary pub restaurants with offbeat names like Alibaba's and Sydney's Peace and Love. At one of them, the host and poet will create and sing a song about you. Well, young man, I want you to listen to this. I can even smell like you love to fish. One thing I gonna let you know, you probably when go fish yesterday caught a big bonito. Hey, hey, across the ocean, there lies an island. You stand like a island, a beckoning to. Wherever you go, from deserted keys to more settled lands, nature's little secrets beg to be explored. Even the highest point on the islands, Mount Sage, has a reward beyond the hike, a majestic national park and nature trail on its slopes.